everyone and welcome to this spontaneous upload of this enchanted forest with a sleeping dragon. This is an oil painting on 8x10 panel and if you would like to see the story behind it please follow me on Instagram because the story is written on there. And I thought I would do this little upload because I'd finished this painting and I was so excited to show everyone and show you guys, show all my wonderful subscribers. So I thought I would upload it just now, really, and I do hope you like it. And I've been really enjoying painting forests. Uh, forests, for me, look incredible in art because it's like stepping into another world. And I really enjoy landscape. I think landscape forms the basis of a lot of my art. So it's been so much fun for me to work with not only dragons again, but forests and figures too so you're combining all those elements in one painting and this size of piece is not enormous it's 8 by 10 so it's not huge it's not small it's kind of in the midway what's really nice about it is you can sketch out your work quite quickly because it's not gigantic one thing about working on really really big canvases is it can take quite a while to plan out so this size is perfect because I can just be dreaming and daydreaming and thinking about ideas and I would just come up with a composition. And in terms of, I very often get asked about references and things, but I don't generally use references, probably because my art is a lot more fantasy based and I know pretty much how to paint things that I have observed over the years and it's purely just practice as well. Of course, when I was starting out, I did use quite a lot of references from copyright free websites but now it's really just what's in my head that goes onto the canvas panel. Of course if I don't know how to paint a particular animal or creature, usually it's an animal like if it's a horse for example, I'm not that great at drawing horses, I've, I mean I've drawn them all the time, so many times rather, but if it is something like that I will check out the copy free, a copyright free website just to get a good impression of you know the kind of outline but as soon as I've got the rough outline I will stop using the image because then I don't want my work to look realistic now of course if you're painting in a realism style you will need to use references it's very important but my style is quite different so I uh, really enjoy creating trees like these magical worlds and I had this idea of this sleeping dragon who was really sleeping peacefully and this maiden who'd been sent on a journey to sort of slay him basically by the village. But when she sees him sleeping so peacefully, she reconsiders because she realises that he's not harming anyone, at least not at that moment in time. <laughs> and it's quite funny because I've been having all kinds of dreams and all kinds of thoughts about dragons and wild beasts. But I do like the idea of somehow either making peace with them or overcoming them. So I do hope you like this painting. And if you are on Instagram, it would be great if we could follow each other and uh, support each other if you're an artist or creative person. And I will see you on the weekend while I have a chatty video, but it won't be with a painting because this is my painting <laughs> for the week. So my painting will appear next week, my new one. And I'm working on a painting of a fairy, in fact, in another forest. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your wonderful comments on my last video. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.